Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the syllabus of course CHA 393 Analytical Methods of Food and Control Substances. It is 48 lectures plus 12 tutorials. There are two sections. First one is the analytical methods of foods. 24 lectures plus 6 tutorials. In the first chapter is introduction to the food analysis. For one lecture and this introduction to food analysis includes the introduction about the food analysis and its analytical methods. In the second chapter, sampling and sample preparations for one lecture. In that, the introduction, selection of the sampling procedures, sampling procedures, preparation of the samples, grinding methods, and enzymatic inactivations are included in sampling and sample preparation methods. Then, Third chapter is the moisture and total solid analysis for one lecture. In that, you have to learn first of all the introduction about the moisture and total solid analysis methods. And what is the importance of the moisture assays and what content of the moisture in that foods. Then forms of waters in foods, sample collection and handling of that foods, oven drying methods. There are general informations, removal of moistures, decomposition of other foods, constituents, temperature controls, types of pans for oven drying methods. Then there is a calculations for the distillation procedures and the chemical method is Carl Fischer titration. You already learn. In fourth chapter, ash analysis. It is for one lecture. In that, you have to learn what is the definitions of the ash analysis and the importance of the ash in the food analysis there are some methods for ash analysis first is the sample preparations what is the plant materials you you have to need and fat and sugar products dry ashings and some principles and instrumentations there are different procedures for the ash analysis, special applications, wet ashings, principles, materials and applications. Next is the analysis of lipids. It is for 5 lectures. In that you have to learn its introductions their definition classification general considerations then different types of the solvent extraction methods and in analysis of lipids there are the characterization of the lipids that is the bulk such as the oils that means there is an estimation of the estimation of the free fatty acids then saponification value of the oils, iodine value of the that lipids, determination of the acid value of oil, determination of peroxide value of oil, para anisidine value, etc. Okay. Then chapter number six. It is for five lectures. In that you have to learn the protein analysis and its characterization procedures 
in protein analysis you have to learn introduction about the proteins and its classification and general considerations and the main importance of the analysis for the protein analysis you have to know the content content of the proteins in the food and which are the methods are used in the protein analysis and the characterization procedures for the proteins in that we learn the protein characterization procedures next chapter number 7 it is for five lectures and in that we learn the introduction about carbohydrates that is that means what is the carbohydrates carbohydrates classification and then its extractions methods analysis methods we have to learn then chapter number 8 is the determination of the food preservatives for the five lectures in that the definition of that food preservatives and what is the need of preservatives there are different types of the food preservatives are used we have to learn in this chapter this is the syllabus for section first and some references are here first is the food analysis edited by the s susan nelson fourth edition springer second reference is handbook of food analytical chemistry by water proteins and zans lipids and carbohydrates by edited ronald e rolston terry e acri eric a decker michael h penner david s reed steven j scorch charles f shomaker dennis smith peter small will interessance john will and sons publications third reference is the biochemical methods by es sadashivan and man a manikam third edition new age international publishers and fourth reference is pearson's chemical analysis of foods for this section 1 you can use the food analysis by the yes susan nelson fourth edition springer this book is available in the form of pdf and the handbook of food analytical chemistry by the john will and sons you can also search here now in course ch393 section second is the analytical methods of controlled substances for the 24 lectures there are the chapter number first is the narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances it is for one lecture in this narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances we have to learn the definitions of different narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances only in chapter number 2 chemical screening and microcrystal test it is for two lectures in that we learn the chemical tests for this chemical screening and microcrystals test there are some chemical test microcrystals techniques are learn then chapter number 3 is the analysis of drugs 
and narcotics this is for 21 lectures this one is the very big chapter and weightage for this chapter is more you can see in that amphetamine and related compounds are here the analysis of lsd that is the what is mean by the lsd and you have to learn how to analyze the lsd and there are different extraction methods for the lsd then you have to learn the cannabis sativa and its products dimorphine and heroin then cocaine then products from cathay edulis and lofofora williams and next topic in this chapter is analysis of barbiturates and benzodiazepines okay there are seven points you have to learn in this chapter of analysis of drugs and narcotics and this is the very important chapter for your syllabus okay some references for the section second is first is the textbook of forensic pharmacy by ck kokate as b gokhale and pharma it's a pharma made press 2008 second reference is the textbook of forensic pharmacy by b m mittal and the third reference is basic principles of the forensic chemistry by zaved ai khan thomas j nedi donelar christian junior humana press and fourth reference is the analysis of controlled substances by michael d colley ville by 2013 thank you so much